Take a well-timed vacation. Hi, I'm Phil Pustiovsky with FreedomMentor.com. I'm a full-time real estate investor, real estate coach and mentor to some of the best real estate investors in North America. And in this video, I'm coming to you from a vacation in Isla Morada, Florida. I've been fishing on the flats here behind me. And I wanna share with you uh, something that actually my mentor shared with me on the power of vacations. That's right, vacations can be powerful. We're gonna talk about those six ways that a vacation can be extremely helpful to you. The first and the most obvious is that it's energizing, meaning that it recharges your batteries. You know, if you are stressed for a very long period of time, that has all kinds of negative consequences. First of all, it's, it's bad from a, a health standpoint, but it's also bad in that over time, as you get worn down from all that stress, you know what it can do? It can force you to make bad decisions. And have you ever noticed that one bad decision can have all kinds of repercussions? So vacations help you recharge your battery, they're energizing, and when you get done with a vacation, if it's been done right, hopefully you're more uh, relaxed and then you can make better decisions. Okay, so that's the first thing, it's energizing. It's also encouraging because it reminds you of what you're working so hard for. It reminds you and it, it, it rewards you. And that's just like you do with your kids. And uh, we know that's the way humans and our brains work is we need to be rewarded when, when uh, we work really hard. So definitely reward yourself. And that, you know, my, my mentor was really big on vacations. And, and uh, one of the reasons was not only the two I just gave you, but this is a big one. Number three, it's enlightening. What do you see when you're on a, a great vacation? You see wealthy people. You see big boats and you know and you see this the beauty of nature and you see so many things that can help expand your vision on what's truly possible and what you can actually do in life. And I got a great story for you. So my first real big vacation as a young adult was in college at spring break. A friend of mine had invited several of us to her get this six her dad's six million dollar home in Naples and they had a two million dollar yacht sitting there and here was the plan we all we had to do was get our butts to Naples and then we would then board their private yacht they had and we go all the way to Key West hang out in Key West for a week and come back so we get to Naples I just the first time I'd ever really seen wealth before and there's this enormous home on the water in Naples and I remember just being just awestruck well and at dinner the night before we were to leave on the on the yacht, I remember asking a question like, well, have you all had this house a long time? And you know, did you all grow up here and that sort of thing? And they looked at me crazy. And they said, well, and this was the, this was the, uh, the father. He said, you know, when, when uh, my wife and I first got married, we were, we were living in a trailer. A trailer. I mean, it just took me completely by surprise. And so then throughout dinner, they, he shared with me how they got to where they were. And you know, literally in the span of about 20 years, this person had become extremely wealthy. And it was, it was a game changer for me because it showed me what was possible. It, it, in, it enlarged my vision. It showed me that, there was, that it could be done. And I remember uh, that was really the, the catalyst to really get it started for me in my life as far as wanting to be wealthy. Was I said, well, if that guy can do it, I can certainly do it. So a vacation can be enlightening because it can expand your vision. It can also be emotionally healthy. Because I have, I've met some people that they, they feel bad about going on a vacation because maybe their, their friends or their family don't have the same kind of uh, financial uh, situation so they can't do it and they feel bad and they feel guilty. Maybe just because on a larger scale, I mean there's literally billions of people in this world that don't have the kind of finances that could swing some exotic vacation. But you know, that's an unhealthy relationship with money. I mean, yes, give, donate, give back, but also have the ability to enjoy the blessings that you've been uh, bestowed upon. So take a vacation because it's emotionally healthy. All right, it's also, and get this is an interesting one, it's an efficiency accelerator. It can speed up or accelerate your ability to be more efficient. How so? Have you ever noticed right before a vacation, you get incredibly efficient. You prioritize, you get things done quickly. The things that shouldn't get done, you put those off to the side. You get everything packed and you get everything organized and you get everything done that needs to get done in order for you to get on that airplane or for you to take off on that trip. 
Well, it was Zig Ziglar, one of his great time management tips was this. He said that you should treat every day as if it's the day before you're going on a vacation. Why? Because you're so efficient then. So what I want you to do next time you're gonna go on a vacation is the day before, take a mental note of what you're doing differently and bring that into other parts of your life and in fact, almost every day. Now, obviously it can't be every day because you can't always be just on, on um, you know, just totally, totally efficient because sometimes you need to read, you need to educate. But by and large, you can learn so much from yourself and your ability to get so much done the day before a vacation. And that brings up the last one, which is a vacation can be extremely educational. This is a, uh, an interesting uh, phenomenon that real estate investors can attest to, and that's this. When you go on a vacation, it's usually like as soon as you get to the hotel or whatnot, all of a sudden you get a text, an email, a phone call, and the greatest opportunity ever has just dropped in your lap. Has that ever happened to you? It's definitely happened to me before. And when I first started taking vacations, I had a real problem because I didn't know how to manage that opportunity, how to take, it, you know, take advantage of it. Well, over time, I learned, I was forced to learn how to delegate and get other people to do things for me because I wasn't there. And that is how it can be so educational for you. It can help you, it can force you to be a better delegator. And I'm not just saying that you go hire a bunch of staff. I mean, in a real estate deal, being able to push off work on the closing company, on the mortgage broker, on these different parties that play a role, that way you become a better delegator. Because we all know this to be true. And that is, the people that are the most wealthy have the most delegation skills and are getting a lot of other people to get things, uh, get things done for them. So it can be extremely educational. So let's go back over the big six there. So six reasons why a vacation can be so powerful and so helpful for you. It can be energizing. It can be encouraging. It can be enlightening. It can be a, a, an efficiency accelerator. It can be emotionally healthy. And it can be educational. But with all that power comes responsibility. Because you've got to time it well. Uh, Paul Orfila, he was the... Uh, he was the founder of Kinko's, which is now FedEx office. And he said, do not underestimate the power of a well-timed vacation. Well-timed. You've got to be strategic of when you take that vacation. Because it could go the other way. I mean, if you take a vacation and you do it at the wrong time, it can cause all kinds of problems. Not to mention the fact that you've lost a ton of money from going on a vacation at the wrong time, but also maybe you left a lot of things hanging and then all of a sudden they're worse off than when you left. And so now all of a sudden you've got this big mess when you get home and you're more stressed than when you left. So you've got to time it well. Uh, for me, uh, I like to only go on vacations during the middle of the month in most cases, not the beginning or the end because in real estate that's when the closings occur. And although you can be a great de delegator, it's still a very good idea to be on the ground when a deal is closing in most cases. Um, I like to uh, go to the locations during their uh, down times, not their peak times. That way I've got more hotel options, more flight options, those sorts of things. You may not have that uh, luxury just yet because you may have kids in school and you may have a nine to five job and you may have to go on vacation at the same time everybody else does. Um, but again, this is really enlightened common sense. I mean, you know when it's the right time to go and when it's not. And that's what you need, you need to uh, just exhibit some discipline and go when it's a good time which also means it needs to be uh, something you can financially uh, swing. And I've got a quick tip for you. Uh, credit cards can be a great way to solve this problem. And that is if you put all your personal and your business expenses through a credit card, assuming you do it responsibly and you pay that off, you build up points or you get cash back. And I want to bring up this quick tip because you've probably never heard this tip before. I am a huge fan of points, not cash back. Why is that? Well cash back, if you get enough, the credit card company is going to send you a 1099 because it's income. Whereas points, they won't. So in other words, points are like a pre-tax vacation. Cash back is like a post-tax vacation. Does that make sense? So the, the Capital One Quicksilver, when they talk about this big cash back stuff, much bigger fan of points. Now you may not be in the same tax bracket as me, that may not be as big of a concern to you, but I'm a much bigger fan of points. So strategic in your choice of when you take the vacation, that's critical. 
All right, well, I'm Phil Pustiowski with FreedomMentor.com. If you want to learn more about how we're producing financially free real estate investors, head over to the website. You can also check out more videos here on YouTube. Uh, you can also grab my book, How to Be a Real Estate Investor. And if you're jealous of the scene behind you, uh, where I am is Isla Mirada, Florida. And if you, uh, if you want to go fishing and catch a lot of fish out here, uh, the guy that I was working with, and I've, I've worked with him for years and years, his name is Steve Lavoy. Lavoy, L-A-V-O-I-E, Steve Lavoy, and he uh, has a website, Captain Lavoy, C-A-P-T, so the shortened version of Captain, C-A-P-T, L-A-V-O-I-E. If I had a chalkboard like I normally would, I'd be writing it up, but today my chalkboard is the beautiful Isla Mirada Flats. All right, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.